to share with you guys the 10 designer handbags that I wanted but never bought and why so if you want to see all the bags that I have decided to pass up on please keep watching okay so I thought this would be a good idea for a video to do I think I've seen a couple of these floating around on YouTube and I like doing one because you guys get to know a little more about my collection since I'm not doing a collection video these are all the bags that aren't in it <laughs> so I wrote all my choices down the first bag is the Givenchy Antigona I think that's how you say it and I will insert a picture here I love this bag I really do I love the shape it's very structured I think it's a very classy and elegant bag I think it's the perfect bag for work if you work in an office the reason why I decided to pass on it and I probably will never buy it is because it's so structured and the bag is honestly a large bag and if you don't know anything about how I pick my bags for my structured bags I like them to be small so the largest I I want a bag to be that's very structured is the size of a Louis Vuitton Alma PM and the Givenchy bag is wider I believe and taller and just bigger all around so I love the shape of that bag but I just know it wouldn't work for me another reason why I decided to pass on it is that the handles don't fold down I think honestly if they change the style to where the handles could like flop down on the side like an Alma PM I would probably get it but knowing my body and my body shape because my arms are larger and my body is larger Larger. if I were to use the shoulder strap and the handle stood up it would be uncomfortable under my arms so those are the two main reasons why I did not purchase that bag I still love it I lust after it a couple people that I follow closely here on YouTube have gotten it recently it's such a gorgeous bag I think it comes in beautiful colors but it's so structured and the handles I just can't get over it but I do love that bag next we have the Louis Vuitton monogram speedy 35 and I actually have two speedies I have a speedy 35 damier uh, no yeah well I have a damier azure and then well the damier azure is not a bandolier but I have a bandolier um, damier a bean and every now and then I really want a monogram speedy 35 but that bag is just so popular and that's the main reason why I don't want it is because so many people have it honestly and I'm a fan of top handle bags but I also really don't like the way that bag slouches so much and the quality of my Damier Azure bag from many many years ago probably almost a decade ago is so much better than the bag it's so much better than the bags that are coming out now the canvas is a lot softer the metal is different it just doesn't look like the quality of bag that was out years ago so why do I always burp when I film videos <laughs> I think I'm taking in too much air so for those reasons I passed on the speedy 35 um, it's still a pretty bag but I also like having the option of having a shoulder strap so I didn't get that bag then we have the Celine trapeze now this is a bag that I love love the style of it. I used to watch Mel Sodera on YouTube I still watch her but I used to be very very into her channel and when the Celine trapeze came out she had it I think in a blue color and I've always wanted a blue bag that color but the one thing that keeps me from getting that bag is that when you open it the entire front just falls open because of how the handle is constructed and where the pressure points are on the bag but I think the Celine trapeze is such a pretty bag it's it's beautiful but I don't think it's functional and as I'm kind of going through my collection and seeing what bags I use and don't the bags I use the most are the ones that are very functional so if I can't get in and out of it very easily if I'm out shopping I don't want it because it's too cumbersome uh, so that's the reason why I never got that bag but the Celine trapeze is a gorgeous bag I remember being Mary Jane Mary Jane had an orange one I think they're so gorgeous but I just can't do it because I know it would really annoy me to always have my bag be falling open. So I had to pass. The next 
bag is the Chanel large flap in black and this would be in lambskin or caviar I don't really have a preference but you know for the longest time it was my dream to have a black Chanel flap bag I have a red one that I love but the more I carry the red one and the more I look at them the Chanel flat bags are very boring and I know this is gonna come as a surprise to a lot of you because Chanel bags are up there in terms of the hierarchy of luxury handbags and what people like especially here on YouTube in the luxury community but I don't know they're just so boring to me and the more I look at them there are so many fakes in Atlanta it's just I don't know I, I used to really like that bag but I'm really not that into it anymore Next we have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and the reason why I don't want this bag is because it's so popular. I have a GM and I got that GM in I believe like 2009 I think. Love that bag. I use it when I travel um, but it's huge so I really wanted an MM but the MM is just so so oversaturated and popular and I see it everywhere so I think I'll just get um another Goyard St. Louis in like a muted color or something like that. But yeah, the reason why I don't want the Neverfull MM is because it is way too popular. Then we have the YSL Wallet on Chain. I love the Wallet on Chain. You guys know I have a Chanel one. I kind of have something similar that I compare to a Wallet on Chain, the Gucci um, Super Mini and Marmot. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Now the YSL one I love, but I think the YSL bag that I really want instead is the Kate. It's like a shoulder bag which can hold a little more in it. I just think the walks are good, but when you think about how much you're going to use it and is it going to be conducive to your lifestyle, for me, they're just a little too small. So I decided against that bag. I think I just don't like the style of a walk, but I'm definitely interested in the YSL Kate shoulder bag. Next is the Celine Phantom once again gorgeous bag I always wanted it in like a cherry red or an orange or a yellow like Celine pop of color bags look really really nice but that bag is so heavy and so big I just think if I got it it would be such a pain to use and to me because the bag is so relaxed and like slouchy it's a summer bag but you guys know in the summer it's too hot to be carrying around a huge bag so I settled on the fact that I will probably never get a Celine Phantom I think they're gorgeous but they're just so big and my Celine mini luggage is large enough and it's larger than that and that bag gets super heavy so yeah I don't think I'm gonna be getting that one Next is the Chanel boy bag, which comes as a surprise even to me because I put that on my wish list this year, but something about that bag, I don't know. I think so many brands are coming out with their variation of a chain bag, a chain flat bag, and I'm just over the whole chain flat bag thing unless there's going to be something really distinct about it. And for the Chanel boy, eh. And then I'm like, the corners are so structured and they like hang down from the actual bag. It would probably not wear too well. I go back and forth, but I think the Chanel Boy is a no-go for me. Um, it's probably also really heavy. It looks heavy. I haven't tried it on, but um, yeah, it's just so structured. And I'm just trying to get away from the classic flat bags because they're just looking very boring to me and I hate to even say that and I know you guys are going to eat me up in the comments but they're just looking boring to me nowadays they really are next is the Celine box bag and this is a bag that I think is so gorgeous I think it's a more sophisticated version of like a Louis Vuitton a Louis Vuitton pochette matisse um they're all leather you can get them in fun colors I would want mine in like a green color but it's kind of that same thing of when you open it it just falls forward I love the accordion nature of the side if they would fix how the strap is attached to the bag I might get it but I just think that bag is so chic I think it's so classy to wear to work um, out to lunch it's just such a sophisticated bag I love it but the opening mechanism just uh, I can't deal with the bag that just falls open it just it gives me anxiety I can't do it <laughs> And the last bag is the Louis Vuitton Boss 4 backpack. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I really wanted this bag. I believe I put it in my wish list for this year, but 
when I look at the bag, it's really not that wide. Like if you turn the bag sideways, it's probably just this wide. And I want to use that backpack for travel or going to people's houses. And it's just not wide enough. I think for my usage, I would like it to be a bit more expansive. So for that reason, that bag is no longer on my wish list, even though I love it. So, oh, and that's discontinued by the way. So I'd have to get it pre-loved anyway, which I'm not upset about. But yeah, those are all the bags that I wanted but didn't get. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what was once upon a time on your wish list, but you decided against. Um, this will be a fun conversation. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.